are not prepared. Welcome to another deck guide video guys. Today I'm gonna give you a quest pirate warrior guide with some gameplay from my last coaching session. Quest pirate warrior is arguably one of the simplest decks out there right now but even as a simple deck people keep misplaying a lot with it and there's a lot to improve with it if you want to really maximize your win rate. Let's check out the deck. This is the deck version we used. It's pretty close to the one I showed you in my last top 5 and it's running two circus amalgams but it's also running one ruster viper instead of provoke. Like I told you in the last top 5, these circus amalgams are kinda pretty cool in this deck because they are a defense tool but they're also progressing your quest. And unlike manda cannons, it's not gonna be useless against classes like mage or other not board centric decks. We're only running one whetstone hatchet in here and that's your only weapon so if you top deck it before you complete your first quest step, you're basically losing the card draw, like we did a lot of the times in the gameplay. You also have a couple of ratchet privateers that can make your weapons pretty big but obviously you shouldn't be over prioritizing the battle cry and sometimes you just use it as a pirate. One of the bigger misplays with this deck people do is they don't actually turn plan and that way they can't really accelerate their quest progression like they should be. In some cases you will need to choose playing not on mana curve in order for you to actually curve out well in the future turn and this way you can fit in more quest progressions earlier. When playing this deck you should really pay attention to your hand and what you can be doing in the future turns with it too and that way you will make better decisions how to use your coin as well as which pirates to use which turn. You will see some of those turn plans turns in the gameplay at the end. Another thing you should be paying attention for is which step you are actually on the quest because your second quest step is actually pretty important. You need to be able to maneuver your pirates so you can abuse the 2 damage 2 shots you are getting from the quest reward and in some cases people even misplay with their stone mole anchorman playing him and actually triggering the quest reward and that way you get left with no targets to get the frenzy from. You should also think about how you can maximize your damage and if you have let's say the 1 damage weapon in hand already you might want to be swinging at the 1 health minion first before you get the quest reward with the 2 shots and same goes with Defias Cannoneer. Another interesting thing you can do is actually maximize the abuse you can be doing with Mr. Smite. Mr. Smite can be an insanely overpowered card especially if you combo it with a blood sail raider or two. After you complete the quest every turn you will be getting a random pirate as well as a random weapon and with Mr. Smite and a blood sail raider that could be insane like imagine if you get a gore howl and this suddenly becomes a 9 damage to the face with Mr. Smite. So what I'm trying to say is in slower matchups you might consider not even keeping blood sail raider in your starting hand so you can actually have a shot at Mr. Smite and blood sail raider at the end. Another thing with this deck is you should be smart with your weapon swings. A lot of the times it would be okay for you to just waste weapon swings but if you don't have something like a sword eater in hand already you might actually consider not to be swinging with the last two charges of your whetstone hatchet for instance. That way you should have more fuel for your defias cannoneers when you get them. But also don't forget that after you complete the quest you are gonna be breaking each weapon you get each turn. So in that case swings should always happen unless there's a fat taunt in the way and it doesn't make sense for you to take that damage. Anyway for the mulligan when going first your cheap pirates are usually what you want to be keeping. Bloodsail Deckhand, Harbor's Camp and the Fias Cannoneer are one of your best keeps. Don't overkeep Foxtail Freebooter because usually you're not gonna get the battle cry out of him this early. Bloodsail Raider and Stormwind Freebooter are also pretty okay but don't keep Stormwind Freebooter if you don't already have a good 2 drop to curve into. When on the coin the situation is basically similar but here against slower matchups you could even consider keeping Mr. Smite especially if you already have a good hand going. For the matchups as you can see hunters might be a little bit problematic and same goes for paladins. Defrado Demon Hunter is gonna be a little bit too big too and Quest Hand Warlock is not your optimal opponent either but all in all you should be pretty fine. All in all the deck only has two legendaries in there and Mr. Smite was from a mini set purchase so it shouldn't be too hard for you to have these. It's a cheap deck it probably should get nerfed more but for now it's probably safe. I hope you enjoyed this deck guide and if you watched the video till now please leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to grab the deck code for this deck you can take it from the out of cards link in my video description and that way you can copy it easily from this button either on mobile or on your computer and if you do so please also leave an upvote so you can help me out a little as well. Thank you in advance. Don't forget you can also hire me for some Hearthstone coaching. Check the video description and click on the Metafy link. Now let's check out those games. Enjoy! We still dump the Foxtail rule freebooter right? It's, it's yeah. a cheap pirate but you kind of want to get the effect especially against this guy so you can get that extra smoke damage. 
later on. So yeah, just remove Fox Seal. Plus, I want to up my chances of drawing the weapon. Oh, for sure. Say less. Okay. Well, this hand is pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent, pretty fast. Great them ducks. Kept the far left. Could be Quester. Oh, it's a ping mage again. Hey, look at that. Foxtail really likes you. As a friend. Yeah, Harbor that's camp. It's not that bad to top deck the Foxtail, especially if you top deck uh, another cheap pirate next turn, you get to uh, activate him. That's the opposite of cheap. That was cheapened. Hmm. Mm. I think you still curve out here. Like, Captain feels acceptable, but... I don't know, man. Feels like we're gonna be trading way too much. Yeah, I think you one mana Blood Sail deckhand into two mana Fox Sail, equip the weapon, and just go face. Yeah. Realistically speaking, none of these should survive. Yeah, just face him. Oh no. Well, kind of does the same thing, but we're definitely not happy he already has a wildfire on. Do we care if this Circus Amalgam becomes bigger than that? It's gonna be technically mm -hmm. a 6-5 potential. I'm not sure we care I'd about almost... that too much. Yeah, I'd almost rather have the additional attack on the rush. Sure, so uh, in this case play the pirate, uh, the Amalgam first and then face trade the two on this time. Okay, and your wish is Carstone's suggestion. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Anyway, that's a good target for the anchor man, especially if. Both the shots miss it. That'd be great. That'd be neat. That'd be jolly good show. Well, I definitely would have been happy if we still had that shit. We have no such thing. Yeah, I think you go with the Stone Molaren command. Is there ever a world where we consider Shiver Timbers the on the snake and not really, because if we play the five mana this turn, next turn we get to play both the free drops and that gives us Rakara on curve. I see. Yeah. yeah, like, uh, even if that wasn't the case, I think this anchor man was still just a little bit better. Would be awesome if we get the card draw with it too, though. Thank fucking god. Yeah, 5-6 trades it, 5-3, go space. Okay. He only played one wildfire, so he cannot just ping him off. He can just do this, though. It's fine. This is fine, chat. That's a good free drop. Yeah, I like that. Do that with the captain. South Sea captain as well. Captain is cool and all, but he is for board-centric matchups, whereas we just get... We just play something, he removes it, we play it again, he removes it again, so... Captain is not gonna do all that much for us. It also effectively gives this 3-5 uh, more health if he was AoEing. In this case, it doesn't do jack shit. Well, that's a perfect shiver. And a yep. perfect Rakara to go with it. Rakara on the left side, so you have a dormant minion Whoa. in the middle. Crap, I did it again. <laughs> yep, you're used to that. That is, a, that is a big misplay against this guy, by the way. Like, uh, 
Yeah. I'm not saying he's running shit, but he definitely is discovering shit. So right now he can uh, cone of cold, for instance, everything. Last spell was fire cell. No, it was arcane bullshittery. Miss me with that shit. Fuck. <laughs> is that targeted? Is it targeted? I don't think it was. Yeah, look at that bulwark. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you whip out both the Ratcheteers and... Do we care for trading? Play one on the left middle, one on the right middle. Do we care for trading here though? Kinda. Yeah, face trade the 4 free and go face with the 2 4 hero power. Could have also did Viper instead, but might as well fit in a hero power where we can. Uh, I haven't counted how much hero power damage this guy's done yet, so I don't think it was good enough. So uh, his uh, 8 mana guy, 10 damage AoE is not active yet, I do believe. That's a big boy weapon now. That ain't too bad. Go face with the weapon and reveal the plus 8 armor. Shocking. Stone Mole Anchorman trades the free free. Get some card draw action going. Ain't nothing special. Just put it somewhere, this board is all over the place. <laughs> I mean, you can't really do that much of positioning in a board state like this. Okay, that ain't too bad. Tradable off your Viper, ah. among other things. I mean, we would have been having mana for anything else anyway, so it is what it is. Yeah, that's all. But yeah, technically yeah, speaking, moving. you get the card draw before you waste the mana. In this case, it didn't really matter because you literally could not have played anything even if you wanted to. Oh no, anyway. Anyway. That's still 6 damage, plus 4 from the cannon. And that's GG, thanks game. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for getting this bad boy out of his misery. <laughs> we are going to happily tag along with him. <laughs> Tag along. Another shaman. Hey, we already plat 5. Are we at 1x by the way? Are you getting 1 star per win, 2 on a streak? I don't think I ranked up like at all last season, so I don't think I'm getting any bonus. Yeah. Like, uh, well, I'd from win streak. Yeah. Okay, another shamanian. What do you think we do here? I think it's. It's a little bit weird to keep... I don't really like keeping Freebooter early. Yeah, Freebooter is kind of... Um, not amazingly amazing. Technically speaking, against some classes you could keep it just so you can get that fast quest progression, but... We're never getting the 2 damage like this in the early game, so... I kind of do like keeping the cargo guard, though. Mm, it's kind of iffy, but I guess... Sure. Just the cargo guard at most. Quest, we never talk about the quest, so. It's been so fucking long since we have top decked our weapon, by the way. Yes. Also, it's been quite a while since we've lost, I think. Uh, this guy is a rogue. This guy's a rogue, chat. Oh, cute rogue. This, this is a rogue. It's a, it's a thief rogue, but they run the Murloc Tiny Fins for a better chance to get a big boy Edwin. Um, I think that's all we do for now. He is a rogue in disguise, chat. Make no mistake, he is gonna be doing rogue things real soon. Just you wait. Oof. Thank you, coin the cargo. Yeah. I'm not happy about it, but we're still gonna be able to uh, tradable the Viper and please play Blood Sail deck hand if need be. Shocking, I know. Shocking, I say! We did not expect that, chat. Of course we did. We're not idiots. And there's your weapon. Thank fucking god. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank fucking god. Oh, no. 
Well, first things first, you can trade up tradable your Viper. Get it out of my face. That's what she said. Well, let's say that can so we can discount our uh, hatchet, and you can also uh, kill with shivered air timbers the five free. And the weapon kills the murloc. When trading seemingly same quality minions, you gotta go deeper and really see if they're same quality or not. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure that playing the sword, uh, this uh, weapon was that smart, given the fact we have a sword eater lined up, but we'll see. We'll see. We might just trade and then equip sword eater. Hmm, that's not a bad minion now. Hmm. Okay, what is the order here and what are you trading to? Um, I probably trade into the pirate because he can probably have a chance to find more synergy with that. Yeah, in the end of the day, it can do pirate things. It probably won't be able to do totem things, so we don't care about the totem. I think you right. trade first because we are going to be happy if this 4-5 becomes a 5-5 five because five, his wild bug Noel does have 5 health. Well, there you go. Yeah. If he wanted to gnoll this, he's got another thing coming. Enjoy your weapon reward. <laughs> <laughs> You're already half through it. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> yeah, didn't play around Shadow Ward Dev, dude. Okay. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Okay. Alrighty, what is the play here? Um. Well, I could, I could replace the weapon and get the three three off the board, or I could like armor up big. And just kill the um, plunderer. I think best of both wor worlds would be if you kill the plunderer with this weapon and then play the sword eater because it gives you better turn progression next turn. Okay, I see. Let's hope it lands on the sword eater. Nice. Oh, nice. Lucky bunny. Okay. It's really turning around. For sure. <laughs> Hearthstone gives, Hearthstone takes. Oh no. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, harder daddy. Do it like daddy likes it. Okay, well that ain't a bad thought deck if I ever saw one. Yeah. The question is, how unlucky are we gonna get? Is it actually gonna kill both of these? Or are we gonna get to actually frenzy one of them? I think I still like it on the board anyways, even if it doesn't get to kill them. It's not the worst thing in the world, but we could still just go with the three mana guys and pretend we're gonna top deck something two mana or less for next to the next turn so you can actually recar on next turn. Mm -hmm. I think that's the real selling point here for me. I see. Yeah. I think you whip out the free drops here. Okay. Let's see who dies. See? That wouldn't have been the best frenzy in the world now, would it? Yeah, slap him in the mouth. Slap him silly. This guy's dumb. Not enough working. He could still uh, go for a secret passage soon, but I don't think he has what it takes to get back on this. Oh no, anyway. Well, there's your Stone Mall Anchorman target if we don't top deck something playable. Trust no one, not even your whetstone hatchet. <laughs> well, so close yet so far, it has to be the Frenzy Boy then. Frenzy boy yeah. gets some card draw. We tried, but the game just denies us every step of the way. 
despite our best efforts. Okay, well, that's a hero power if I ever saw one. Your face kills a free free, and the free five also kills a free free, and this way, rogue can't do rogue things anymore. Rogues love doing rogue things. That is why we don't let them do any rogue things. Easy. You deny right. the rogue thing potential. Okay. This is why Quest Warrior is so damn good. Every matchup is against the freaking rogue. Okay, well. Easiest um, mulligan of my life. Let's dig for that weapon, shall we? <laughs> Gotta do it. Oh. Okay, I like this hand. Rate him. Rate him hard. Okay, it's a quest variant. It's a 50 50. Not on my watch, though. Oh, thank goodness. There you go. <laughs> we did it we did it we this is a cowboy cowboy quest warrior we we draw them weapons so damn fast yo fastest a weapon draw times. of my life a few more times and i'm like highly considering going back to blacksmithing hammer <laughs> yeah for sure i like, can imagine would be a five five the way you're drawing that shit <laughs> five five till turn free bro play it on curve and everything Okay. Kind of like just playing with three here. I mean, sure, sure. It's gonna get a pretty good extortion for him, but at least the horse doesn't kill him. Yeah. Sometimes I even like consider it a win if they do extortion on a minion because I mean... them trading is really scary usually. Well, I guess you can consider that a win. You already showed you he has it. I'm not sure why he tried to discount it first. Uh, why do you want to hear from Nuno, Cax? I do have him in my Facebook friends if you need something from him. Okay, cool extortion, brother. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, this would definitely be nice on the weapon soon, so I think you just blood sail weapon hero power. At the end of the day, getting some extra life, it's not the worst thing in the world against these guys. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Nice on an empty board, but hmm. Bump is also kind of nice too with that five attack. It also curves out nice for you. I think you yeah. slap face and then amalgam. The fire cannon here would not be the worst thing in the world to actually hit his minions, so... Okay, enjoy that nothing draw. Gotta love it. Right now, he can't assassin this. He's only played one SI card so far, so his assassin is six mana. Oh boy, that's a sad play. Shadow step. 
is, uh, yeah, that's gonna be 3 damage for him. But still, he had to do a lot of stupid stuff to make it work, so not the worst thing in the world. Would be nice if you get a 2-drop. That's no 2-drop. That's no 2-drop. Do I take a big, like, gamble here on the... It's quite the gamble indeed, isn't it? Yeah. I think you do, though. Yeah, play a cannon here and smack face into the free free. And slap a hero power after that. Good enough. Price plunder would have been nice if that also died, but it is what it is. Yeah. Okay, next turn we get uh, shoot twice. Okay, he told us what his top that his uh, quest reward is. Are we getting Mr. Smite off the top? Maybe a Shivered Air Timbers? Maybe a Viper? At the end of the day. That's that's the whole thing. We don't have bad cards in our deck, bro. We already drew the bad <laughs> cards, so... <laughs> Joke's on you, we're into that shit. Okay. Wow, that's not a bad top deck by any means, but he's trying to tell us he is prepared for it, I guess. Maybe he has Assassin. What do you want to do here? Um. Well. Uh, I mean, I could just. I could just privateer and armor up and trade in on the three two. What step are we on? Ah, oh, that's true. Yep. I don't think we even care about this thing living or dying. I think we just go with both Ratcheteers here so we can get as fast as we can to the possible top deck Rakara play. Because if you get one of your cheap pirates, we get to play Rakara next turn. Yeah, whip out the other bad boy as well. They're both quite the bad boys. It's probably gonna be able to fuck them both though. There you go. And still clap his mouth, I do believe could top deck sword eater in which case i would prefer maybe playing that maybe saving the weapon wasn't the worst thing in the world there though but some people do run vipers so i don't know i don't know it's iffy yeah he's looking for an assassin assassin at this point is uh four mana i think no it's five Okay, he can play Assassin now as 3. Nope. Not any Mao. Price Plunder is what he needs and an Extortion again. That's fine. Okay, take it. Take it like a man. <laughs> it takes a man to know what a man likes. <laughs> Hashtag no homo. Okay. <laughs> Thin line, I say. Thin line. Okay, well, I think the 5 drop is pretty, pretty decent. Gets your Rakara action. And we yeah. even get the hero power if we feel like it. So, yeah, let's see the Frenzy into the SI for sure. Because the SI is the thing that we are afraid of him actually bouncing. That was that a tactical error, brother? Are you gonna fucking mutinous us? Like, fuck off. We don't. <laughs> I don't play around a fucking mutinous. Hero power face, and we have. It's a 33% chance still. Like, if you mutinous here, like. <laughs> seriously. He could just die to the, to the damage we have. <laughs> sure. <laughs> mutinous, he says. <laughs> right now, Mr. Smite off the top is pretty GG. That is why you don't get it. Well, Captain Rakara hero power should be pretty, pretty fine. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Rakara is fine, but do we also store when freebooter so we can actually drop him to a respectable low amount of healthage? We're at 32 fucking health, so even if he has the 6 mana Wind Fury, that's only 20 damage and we're left with 12, so he never gets us. Play the 3 mana on the right side and slap him. 
Yeah, that sounds good. Gonna show. Like this way, even just the two shots can get him. The weapon without deck should be able to get us. Oh no, should be fine, chat. Oh no, anyway. He's gonna have a big boy tempo play. Mm -hmm. He has to clear the free four as well, obviously. Does he have a tempo in here? Okay. Loading it up. He can fizzle the free four. Well, one shot should hit face. And the weapon should be not complete garbage, so let's see. Well, you're not getting Mistress Might, that much has been said. What do you mean, JF? There you go, easy. Got him good. Just in case, the weapon was covering us as well. Hey, how's it going, Kaba? Kabob? Why, why are you trying to make me hungry, Kabob? Like, why are you doing that? I'm hungry as is, like, my fucking dumbass ate three apples before the stream started instead of having an actual meal. 